Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this important video lecture i will guide you for spacing between two rcc column guys many students uh, and they have this question that what should be the minimum and maximum spacing between two rcc column for normal residential building so therefore watch this video till the end to learn something new uh, related the spacing between two rcc columns for residential and commercial building so let's get start guys guys you can see clearly so that is one column and this is the second column and now that is the place to provide the third column okay here guys i will recommend you if you have the structure design okay so you can consider uh, the length or the distance between two rcc column but if you don't have the structure design or uh, the proper design for uh, the columns footing etc so i recommend you for normal residential building the spacing or the length between two rcc columns should not be less than uh, should not be more than 16 feet okay so it should be up to 16 feet you can provide the uh, length between two rcc columns that's why because if you increase the distance between two rcc columns so uh, maybe it cannot support the structure load okay so it will fail after some time or during uh, the construction of slab or the construction of house you will face more problems so therefore guys uh, if you don't have the idea for the spacing between two rcc columns so this is not the exact uh, which i tell you uh, for example you can keep about 14 feet or 24 or 25 feet etc or 26 feet but all these things is depend on the structure load or uh, how many story do you want to construct two story three story four story okay but for normal residential building from uh, ground floor to the first floor the distance or the length between two columns should not be more than 16 feet in the case of if you don't have the structure design if you don't have the drawing okay the proper drawing now guys you can see here uh, these are two columns if you see the length or the distance between two rcc columns are 10 feet here okay so from this column to this column the distance is 10 feet so now what's the reason behind this so actually especially in pakistan the block is okay uh, you can see the concrete block is not stronger than a brick so brick is about four times stronger than uh, rcc uh, uh, concrete block so therefore guys uh, i also recommend you that if you want to continue or if you want to construct the uh, block uh, masonry wall so uh, you should provide the rcc column after the length of 12 feet okay minimum uh, maximum 12 feet but minimum it should be provided at the distance of 10 feet so uh, your structure will be safe so if you see guys here the other one is about uh, uh, 12 feet okay so this is about 12 feet they will provide the rcc column okay so therefore for normal residential building uh, it's uh, all these things is depend on the structure road as i told you before but uh, manually i will recommend you that the distance uh, between two rcc columns should not be more than 16 feet but in the case of the column size should not be less than should not be less than nine by nine inches and you should provide minimum six steel rods uh, which die should not be less than 12 inches okay uh, sorry 12 millimeter and if you see its uh, lateral ties so the lateral ties uh, dia should be uh, 8 millimeter with the spacing of 6 inches or 150 mm okay so therefore guys if if you see here uh, the column size which is uh, here guys you can see clearly the column size is 6 by uh, 6 by 12 inches okay sorry uh, this is 6 by 14 inches okay the size of this column is 6 by 14 inches as i told you in many videos that the size of the column should not be less than 9 by 9 inches okay but here guys you can see uh, it's uh, uh, the column is not at the center this is the other uh, problem because uh, nowadays uh, all the people are wasting their time and money also so therefore uh, you should have a drawing for rcc design also for uh, you should have a good supervisor uh, to do good supervision on the construction site if you see guys you cannot see any concrete cover for this they they provided six steel rods okay which die is about 12 millimeter lateral ties is six millimeter they didn't provide uh, hooks on 135 degree so instead of 135 degree they provided on 
90 degree okay so this is the other point but its width is uh, 4 inches okay when they provide the concrete cover so it is going to the 6 inches but here you can see you cannot see any concrete cover but if you see this side so this is about more than 2 inches okay so this is the other mistake so therefore I am telling you if you want to save your structure so the distance between two columns should not be more than uh, 16 feet uh, but here guys you can see uh, you can see the cracks as, as I told you before now this is under construction so uh, maybe uh, they did this uh, two or three days before so if you see guys uh, uh, already you can see the cracks okay why what's the reason because uh, the concrete block is uh, uh, cannot work properly here okay so brick masonry or brick is a five four five time a time is stronger than a concrete block so if you see this is the other column and you can see this is not the proper design so everything is wrong especially in india and pakistan so therefore i'm telling you if you want to save the structure so in that case uh, normally you can provide the rcc column normally okay uh, from 13 to 14 feet it will be safe because if you don't have the structure if you have the structure design the steel reinforcement details for column for footing etc so in that case you can increase the distance so up to 25 26 30 feet you can provide and uh, the two column spacing okay but if you don't have the structure design if you don't have the idea etc so in that case you will face a lot of problems so therefore i am guiding you uh, you should have a good supervision you should have a drawing for uh, domestic building also commercial building okay so otherwise you will not face the problem okay so now maybe and then uh, also you can see they provided the plastic to the other wall so also, also they should provide here the bitumen or asphalt okay uh, to avoid uh, the seepage from the other wall or from the foundation also look at here guys so this is the main thing which I have discussed for spacing between two RCC column and I also share my recommendation with you people which can help you. As you can see this is the other side, stone masonry, okay. You can see the size of the footing. This is about 12, uh, 18 by 18 inches. So, how much time it will take? So, if they provide a 12 by 12, uh, sorry, uh, 2 by 2 feet, uh, 2 by 2 feet, or 3 by 3 feet, 4 by 4 feet. Okay, so all these things it depend on the structure load. But they people uh, don't care about the uh, footing details, uh, steel reinforcement, etc. So, therefore, after some time, they face more problems and they will see the cracks inside the wall inside the uh, column beam etc so this is these are the main points which i have discussed the front of you okay guys hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye